Are you thinking about reconciling with estranged family? Well, how will you know if the time is right? We're gonna be talking about the three nudges that successful reconcilers had before they took the plunge to try to reconcile. Let's dive right in. So the circumstances have changed. That's the first one. For example, suppose your sister or your brother that you'd really like to reconnect with has an intolerable controlling spouse and this person passes away. The circumstances are different now. That obstacle of that controlling spouse is no longer there. So there's an opportunity to reconnect with your sibling. The situation is now open to try reconciling. Number two, you start developing a plan. So what if you're thinking about your sibling or your adult child or your mom or your dad, and you're thinking about them a lot and you're thinking about giving it a try. And you're also maybe imagining yourself making the phone call, writing them a letter, inviting them over. If you're starting to do this, what's happening is, is that your vague urge that you've had for some time is becoming more solid with a strategy, you may be ready to move forward. Number three, you look for a sign. It could be that you're noticing more than ever before that the topic of this person that you've been cut off from comes up in conversations. Or maybe you've read a book and in that book, there's a story of two people burying the hatchet and getting back together again. And you're getting this feeling like, gee, maybe I should forgive them, or maybe I could just let the past be the past and move into the future. Successful reconcilers recalled a specific moment that they knew that they were ready to try and reconnect with their loved one. So reconcilers had three nudges. One of them is the circumstances have changed. They kept thinking about the possibility by, and even making plans. And then they felt this sign that it was time to try. Maybe you're thinking, is it worth it? What if things go south? What if I can't keep my cool? What if they just flat out refuse and reject me? You will learn more about this in my next video. There's things that we need to do to prepare us in order to move forward. Reconcilers move forward. They moved into the idea because they were ready. And some even knew in their gut it was time for them to act, to take the chance to try. Let's be real though. The estrangement situation and condition is just horrendously painful. There's no doubt about it, but it's also complicated. There's no quick fix and I wish there was. But if you're wondering if it's the right time to try and reconcile the research points that we've been going over, and in my last video, video 14, on how to reconcile, we talked about what the reconcilers were able to do in order to get to the level of knowing that they ought to try. So you're gonna get more clarity the more that you learn. But what else do you need to know? Watch my next video, Reconnecting with Estranged Family Members, Four Strategies to Reconcile. Get my ebook, Feeling Heartbroken and Alone, How to Pick Up the Pieces When You Are Estranged. And don't forget to like, ring the bell, and subscribe. This way we can continue giving this information to other people, it can help. See you in the next video.